Hey guys, this is Franco from Another Design and uh, I just wanted to make a real quick uh, few minute video like a little preview of the VSX. Uh, he gave me a lot of messages about uh, you know when am I going to make the video for the VSX and it's going to be a little while until we actually uh, get the chance to make a full on video so I figure I'll just make a little sneak view I guess uh, just for those that keep asking so uh, at least it's a little something to get started with. So anyways, this is the new VEXX. Um, the main lead, for those who don't know, main difference is kind of, it's in the front end, so practically the whole hood area, fenders, headlights, front grille, uh, you know, just pretty much the whole front end. A little bit on the side, right here where this scoop is, for those who want to prepare to look at the difference. And the rear end, tail lights are smaller, Farther apart, and uh, it's a completely different bumper. And the car is about an inch, inch and a half wider on each side. Obviously, I can't tell yet on the video, but it is wider on the side. Um, the muffler as well, muffler tips a little bit bigger, and um, it's got a more grills in back. So, those are mainly the difference. This particular car is the actual prototype of the VXX, and it's built on a 986. Um, Boxster um, I believe it's automatic. Um, and obviously, like I always say, the, when it comes to the color, stereo color, color combination, wheel style, wheel color, interior uh, combination of colors, materials, and we, I have nothing to say on that. Uh, that's a by owner request. What I have something to do with is practically the design, the styling, and the fabrication of it, and the build of the car, right? So, <clears throat> one of the most common question I get is why does this car is going to cost five grand more than the regular VEX? So for long, those who doesn't know, we have a VEX and this is called the VEX X, which is just the second style option uh, for guys who like like the car to be a little more trendy. Uh, those who knows me, they know I like to do cars more um, timeless, I guess, or try to keep them simple. I don't even include the spoilers. Whoever wants a spoiler has to ask me for it. I can always get him a spoiler, but I don't even like the spoilers in my personal opinion. I like to keep the car subtle, very subtle. So that way, um, you know, as trend changes and style changes, the car doesn't start to look old just because, okay, now everybody wants a spoiler. Tomorrow the spoiler is no longer in style and now the car has a spoiler and it looks old. So it's just a personal way of doing things when I'm style, right? So, but the reason why this one is five grand more, it has nothing to do with, it's a better looking, uglier, nicer, better, worse, it has nothing to do with that. It mainly has to do with all this. And if you look at the regular VEX, uh, it's a little more sculpture, it's got a little more going on when it comes to the body, which requires a lot more man hours to body work. So a lot of detail, tedious work to body work. You cannot even tell in the video. There's a lot of things going on under there. Um, and to body work, all these little areas and all the edges and you know, all the scoops and grills. This one's got a lot more grills, more lighting than the original bags, as well as the rear bumper as well. It takes a lot more man hours to actually body work and prep it. Not the installation of it mainly, but mainly all these all this things going on. So it's a, it's a more busy car, I guess more um, sculpture, more trendy, more more crap going on, let's put it that way. And um, so it takes a lot more man hours to do all this stuff. And some of the components that I had to use to create this new look uh, does require a few extra bucks in parts. So mainly this car takes almost an extra month to build compared to the regular bags, which that one's not completed, but you kind of see the rear of that one is a little more simple. Um, and so that's the reason why the car is a little bit more pricey. It has nothing to do with, oh, this is the new car or this is the new thing or anything like that. That's one of the, the things that I want to clarify that I do get a lot. Um, the interior in this one, is just like all the other Vexes. Let me show you. It's just like all the Vexes in this particular case. The owner obviously requested it this way. Um, he wanted to have this marble-like uh, finish on the on the trims, right? It's, mostly, it's like... Um, marbleized 
like I don't know what do you want to call that. Usually we do that in carbon fiber. We did put the carbon fiber steering wheel on this one, the touch screen, the leather end. I always say those are just overlays over the original carpet. And we did a suede on the seats. In this particular case, the owner wanted a custom logo. He wanted the transformer logos. It's his personal taste. And so we did that. And as well as um, most of my cars right here will have another Radial Design badge like this one. But in this case, um, the owner asked me and requested if I could put these badges, which I guess are transformer badges. I don't know, he might be a very big fan of transformers. And so, you know, I mean, we like to do things to the car that, that uh, you know, personalize it that you actually request and you like. So we don't mind doing that. Um, like I said, I, I can't get too much into detail. We're doing a video, sorry, so, you know, improvise like all my videos are anyways but um we're gonna make a, a very nice video and actually really show the car um in every way but for right now just wanted to make a real quick one just a re quick sneak view um i keep getting asked but very very busy it's a lot of cars in the shop um that's a vendetta i'll be showing it pretty soon as well I'm working on it and uh so it's been extremely busy. Sometimes it's a little hard to find the time to do this. Uh, you guys know, the guys that know me, not really a, a show kind of guy. I'm not trying to make my channel look like a TV channel or do none of that kind of crap. Uh, I like to keep it raw and real, but I am going to make a nice video of this car cruising around and just to get the stand. I'll throw a couple pictures of the car on this video just for you guys to kind of get a better sense of the styling. I was just trying to get you guys what you want for the meantime and uh, we'll be doing something better um, later all right so thanks for watching i appreciate it and uh the full-on review next uh you know debut i guess of the cars will be coming up soon thank you guys as always have a good one man.